Why did you bring me here? I saw that you released the others. Sir Gregory, I would ask that you listen carefully to what I am intending to reveal to Inspector Lestrade. You murdered Sir Rodney Bentcliffe in cold blood, and you did it for money. What? No, that's not true. I am afraid that it is. The ingenious ghost weapon that you used only served to prove the premeditation. You are insane. It was a spectacular felony, one that intrigued the police and encouraged the press. Scandal is an excellent means of bringing the public's attention to your baths. And eventually, of course, it brought me, too. You have it all wrong. Well, I didn't expect you to possess much in the way of courage. May you be a fraction more inspired before you meet the hangman. Farewell, Sir Gregory. Why did you bring me here? I saw you release the others. Strictly between you and me, Sir Gregory, I admit that you played a masterstroke with your ghost weapon. I know that you killed Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. What? Nonsense! How dare you! That is not to say I support the crime. However, you are safe with me. You? I don't understand. The police shall hear my version of the facts. The one that shall reveal Sir Rodney's true nature. He was a genuine adversary, was he not, Sir Gregory? He was corrupt. Well, he certainly was. But I never did such a... Would you rather I change my mind? I trust that you will preserve the tranquility of these baths in the future, Sir Gregory. I... I don't know what to say, Mr. Holmes. Lestrade, if I might have a word with you, please...
on the sofa for the third time today. Well, don't be surprised if Watson sits on you again. Mr. Garrow, allow me to introduce you to Dr. Watson. Mr. Garrow, please do not be alarmed. We only wish to help you. You were under an intolerable stress, but it's over now. What? I can attest that your medication affected your judgment. You will not recall, but it caused you to temporarily lose control. Did I? Uh, are you saying I uh, killed Sir Rodney? I am afraid so. For as my doctor will persist in reminding me every single day, drugs can be harmful. You developed a malevolent obsession with Sir Rodney. You believed him to be unworthy, sacrilegious. Oh, do not distress yourself. Prison is clearly not a suitable environment for you. What is my environment, then? You're suffering from an acute form of melancholia, but you can and will be cured. All you need is rest and detoxification, I will take care of every detail.
home. The game is afoot, not a word. Into your clothes and come. I'll wait for you in the sitting room. I've just received a note from Inspector Lestrade, a letter from the suburbs. He is in need of my presence. Whenever he has asked for my assistance, it has always turned out to be entirely justified. I fancy that every one of his cases has found its way into your collection. Uh, yes, they all seem worthy of... However, I regret your fatal habit of looking at everything from the point of view of a story instead of a scientific exercise. Oh, Holmes, you... I beg your pardon, I digress. It would be much better to examine this letter than to try to convince you. <laughs>